Hello everybody, it is PreloopBoy99 and today I'm going to teach you how to do a compression test on your motor. This can be any engine. Uh, for this video, it's going to be the H22A because I just recently did a timing belt on it. So I want to make sure my internals are good. So let's get right into it. So to do a compression test, you're going to want to remove all your spark plugs. I already did it for the sake of time in this video. There go the spark plug wires. You might want to number your wire, your spark plug wires. This is the first cylinder. This is cylinder one. It's cylinder one because it's the closest to the pulleys. So it's cylinder one, two, three, and four. Just remember that and just label your spark plug wires. If you can't label them, pretty much the longest wire is gonna go at the end and the shortest wire is gonna go in the front. So that's just a friendly tip. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna pull the fuel pump fuse. Pretty much this is what's gonna stop the engine from spraying fuel into the chamber. You don't want that. You don't want any spark in the chamber. You don't want any fuel. You're just gonna crank the engine. This, this fuse came right there next to the 10 amp fuse above the other fuses. I don't have a fuse box, so I can't really show you, but it's gonna be right there. Next, you wanna get a fuel compression kit. You can pretty much rent these for free at O'Reilly's or any other parts store. This is pretty much going to be a simple kit. You're gonna have your air pressure gauge here, your hose, and the adapter. I'm gonna need this adapter because this is a Honda engine. So you're gonna need to tie in the adapter. This kit is universal, so it should work with any engine. But pretty much you're gonna to wanna to attach the attachments and then you're going to want to screw it into the first cylinder. So after you get the gauge all screwed in into the first cylinder, you could basically crank it four to five times or you can do a max crank, which is 12 times. I'm gonna do 12 times because that gives me the highest number and I wanna do a variance check. So pretty much what you're gonna do is when, when you crank it 12 times, you're gonna to wanna to do the same exact thing that you did to the first cylinder to the next cylinder and just move on. Then you wanna make sure that you're recording your values and Basically, you're just gonna compare the values, see what's consistent and see what's different. And what's different, you're gonna do a variance. You're basically looking for variance. So pretty much all these values have to be at least 10% within each other, meaning that it can be 10% more or 10% less of each other. So I have the keys in the ignition. You're gonna to wanna to turn it all the way to on. Key on, engine off. You're gonna to wanna to have your foot on the gas pedal all the way down because this is gonna open up the throttle and then you're gonna to wanna to crank it 12 times. So this is going to be my, my compression for cylinder one. As you can see, it is 205 PSI. So that's a pretty good number. Pretty much you're gonna to wanna, to, a healthy engine is over 100 PSI, which is really, really good. So you're just gonna do the same thing that I did for cylinder one. You're just gonna basically go to, through each single cylinder and just rinse and repeat. And I'm just gonna show you my values with pictures because again, it's a bit redundant. And uh, basically, before you take it off, you just wanna push the release valve, the release button, so that way you don't have to risk popping something or pretty much just adding on more pressure. Starting with cylinder number one, we have 205 PSI. The 10% variance ratio is 20.5, so plus 10% is 225.5 PSI, minus 10% is 184.5. So cylinder two measured at 195 PSI. The 10% variance is 19.5, so it's gonna be at 214 as it plus 10% and minus 10% is 175. Cylinder three, we're gonna be measuring at 205 PSI. The, it's the same as cylinder one, the 10% variance is also 20.5, so you have 225 as the highest and 184 as the lowest. Same also goes for cylinder four. Cylinder four has the same exact results. So pretty much what you're looking for is values that are within that range that can pretty much fit inside that range. Cylinder two is 
the weakest cylinder, but it still has really good, decent compression. So it's nothing to be really worried about. All right, guys. So that's how you do a compression test on your engine. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.